What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, I have some really exciting news, probably the most exciting news that I've had in a really, really long time. Today, Luca Tedesco and the Check Rain team just released their Check Rain jailbreak. And this jailbreak is going to work on the very latest firmware for iOS. So in this video, I'm actually going to be jailbreaking iOS 13.2.2, which just came out a couple of days ago. So I'll have a few jailbreak tweak videos linked in the description of this video for you guys to take a look at after you've jailbroken your device. And all the tweaks are free, so even better. I'm also giving away a pair of AirPods as well. So if you're interested in that, check the description on how to win. Now, before we get into this, let me know in the comments right now what device you're jailbreaking. And if you have any issues along the way, post those issues in the comments and help each other out. And I'll try to help you guys out where I can as well. All right, so let's get into the compatibility of this jailbreak. So this is going to work on iOS 12.3 and up. I believe earlier iOS versions are going to be supported in the future, but right now it's working on iOS 12.3 all the way up to iOS 13.2.2, which is the latest firmware that I'm gonna jailbreak right here. So Check Rain will eventually support all devices between the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 10. However, this beta lacks support for the following devices, iPad Air 2, iPad 5th gen, and iPad Pro 1st gen. So. If you're only trying to jailbreak one of these three iPads, then you can't do it right now. You might still wanna watch the video just to see how the process takes place. So once it is released, you'll know exactly what to do. Now also another caveat, the support for the following devices is experimental and may require some more attempts than usual, like you'll probably see on my iPhone 10. So you might have to try a couple of times if you have the iPhone 5S, iPad mini 2, iPad mini 3, and the iPad Air. So it looks like most of the issues are with iPads, but you also have the iPhone 5S in there. Next, this beta is only going to work on Mac OS. So this is obviously going to work with Windows and Linux in the future and in a later release, but for right now, you can only do this jailbreak on Mac OS. So you are going to need a computer. So at this point, you should know if you have a device that's going to be compatible with this jailbreak and if you have a Mac computer that you can do this jailbreak with. Most importantly, before you start this process, make sure you back up your device because there could be issues and it's always smart before doing any type of jailbreak to back up your device so you don't lose any of your data. So since we've gone through all the caveats at this point, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you wanna do here is go to this website and it's just checkra.in slash hashtag release. I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can just click on it and it'll take you directly to this page. So you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna see right under the latest release, you'll see a download for Mac OS. This is what you're going to download. So we'll go ahead and click on that and it should download, it's not very big. And then once you have it, just put it onto your desktop. So you can just click and drag. I actually already have it on my desktop so I'm not gonna put it there again. But we'll go over here, open this up, and then you can see we have the check rain beta.09. damage. So we're going to just double click on this and this is going to install the app. So what we wanna do is just click, drag it over into applications, and then it should work. So the next thing we wanna do, we'll just minimize this, open up our finder. Now, once you drag Check Rain into applications, you wanna make sure that your device is plugged into your computer. So you can see this cord right here. I have this device plugged into my computer, it's charging. So make sure that it's plugged in before you run all these next steps. So we're gonna go ahead and open up applications and then we're going to go to check rain, which is right here. And then we're gonna double click on that. So you're probably gonna get a pop up right here that it can't be opened because it's from an un unidentified developer. So just click okay. And then what we're gonna do is right click on it and click open. And then you'll get the same pop up, but it'll give you an option to open it up. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And if it didn't open up that time either, then just double click on it after uh, you do the right click and open and it should go ahead and work. So at this point, just walk through the steps here. So it says, welcome to Check Rain. It does identify my device, which is good. So you wanna make sure that your phone is recognized right here before proceeding. And then you have your ECID and then all the credits right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and click start. So this is a manual process and we will guide you through it. In order to prevent file system corruption through hard reset, the device will be put into recovery mode first. So click when you're ready. So this should recognize what device you're using and then tell you how to get into DFU mode with your particular device because it can be a little bit different or is a little bit different for particular devices. So I went ahead and closed out of 
uh, iTunes, even though it should still give you a pop-up if you have it open. But I'm gonna go ahead and click next and then follow the instructions. So it's gonna put your device into recovery mode first. And then once it's in recovery mode, it'll let you know. So you can see on my computer that it says there's a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. That is a good sign. That means it's in recovery mode. So we're going to open up check rain again. And then this is going to tell you how to put your device into DFU mode. So when you press start, this is all going to be timed and it's going to show you what you need to do. So you're going to hold the side button down, which is this button right here, the power button, and you're going to hold it down for six seconds. Once you do that, you're going to release the side button and then press and hold down the side button and the volume down button together for five seconds. After that five seconds, you're going to release the side button and keep holding down on the volume down button for another 10 seconds. Entering DFU mode always sounds a little more complicated when you're saying it rather than when you're doing it. So let's put our device into recovery mode. We'll have three seconds to get ready once we click start, and then we'll want to follow the instructions on the screen. So we'll click start. And now we're gonna hold the side button for six seconds. Then release the side button. Now hold down the volume down button and the side button. And then release the side button and keep holding down the volume button. And this is the volume down button. So after this is complete, it should be into DFU mode. So I'm actually having some issues getting my device into DFU mode using the on-screen instruction. So if you're having the same issue, then you can follow this tutorial. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna put it into DFU mode directly from having my device up and running. It's not gonna be in recovery mode and I've never had any issues with it having a file system corruption or anything like that. But if you're afraid of that, then definitely use the recovery mode in order to put your device into DFU mode. But I'm just gonna do it straight from here because I've never had issues putting my device into DFU mode directly from this state. So what I'm going to do on the iPhone 10 is gonna be a little bit different on any other device. So you'll just wanna look up how to put your particular device into DFU mode. So for the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8, what you're gonna do is hold down or press the volume up button, the volume down button, and then hold the side button until you get a black screen. And then you're going to hold down the volume down button and the side button for five seconds. And then you're going to let go of the side button. It sounds a little more complicated when you're saying it than when you're doing it. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it here. So we're going to hit the volume up, volume down, and then hold the side button here. So this should go to a black screen here in just a second, and then we're gonna hold down the volume down button. Hold down the volume down button, continue holding the power button for three, two, one, let go of the side button, and continue holding the power or the volume down button. So you're gonna notice that it's gonna go into DFU mode once iTunes uh, pops up on your screen. So you'll see that iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore your iPhone before you can use it with iTunes. So at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and click next. And then we're just gonna click start and let it go through its process. But it should recognize after this step that our device is in DFU mode. So you can see it's installing the jailbreak because it recognized it. So it's just gonna take a moment and do not disconnect the device until it's finished. So here you can see on your device that it has the nice check rain animation and this is showing you that it is jailbreaking your device. So just give it a little bit longer and then you'll soon be able to install Cydia. So at this point, it's done. First time's a charm. So we'll just close out of these, open this up. And then you can see we have check rain right here. So if we click on check rain, we can install Cydia. So let's give it a shot. Keep in mind that Cydia is the only package manager that is compatible with check rain right now, but they are going to add support for other package managers as well. All right, so let's open up Cydia just to make sure that it works. And you can see we are jailbroken 
on iOS 13.2.2. This is a very exciting day. And the fact that it worked on the very first time even makes it that much better. So again, if you guys are looking for jailbreak tweaks, be sure to check the links in the description below. I just recently did a brand new jailbreak tweak video that you guys can check out and is hopefully compatible with your iOS version. Also, if you guys wanna enter into that giveaway for the AirPods, be sure to check the description on how you can do that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Of course, if you guys wanna stay up to date with everything jailbreak and everything Apple or any other tech that I wanna cover, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video.